Uh, hi guys, uh, this is my uh, solution for uh, AP Pre-Calculus 2024 exam question number two. Let's get started. This is calculator actor. Okay. So on the initial day of sales t equal to zero for a new video game, there were um, 40,000 units of the game sold that day. And 91 days later, that is t is equal to 91, uh, there were uh, 76,000 units of the game sold that day. The number of units of the video game sold on a given day blah, 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 is given by this logarithmic function, where g is the number of units sold in thousands on day t since the initial day of the sales. Use the given data to write the two equations that can be used to find the values of a and b and then find the values of a and b as decimal approximations. Okay, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, I think what we are going to do is just sub in the numbers. So the equation which is given to us is uh, g is equal to a plus b ln of t plus 1. Now we are already given that when t is equal to 0, uh, the value of g is 40,000 so I'll just write 40 um, I'll just write 40 not thousand because the thousand is already included over here uh, so let's plug that in to get our first equation so 40 will be equal to um, a plus b ln 1 because 0 plus 1 is 1 and ln 1 is 0 so 40 is equal to a and let's flip the omelet so a is equal to 40 that's the well, that's an equation and that's also a value of a. So that's, we are fortunate that we also got the value of a. But anyway, the next equation is going to be that at g is equal to 91, the value, sorry, at t equal to 91, the value of g is 76, which means that 76 is equal to a plus b ln of 91 plus 1. Uh, 91 plus 1 is 92. So if, again, flip the omelet. So a plus b ln 92 is 76. That's equation 2. So that's the answer to part A. <clears throat> and uh, uh, part 1 and part 2, we're just going to solve the system of equations. So actually, we already have the value of a. All we are going to do is sub in this a over here. So that's going to look like 40 plus b ln 92 is equal to 76. Uh, so b ln 92 is 36. So b is equal to 36 over ln 92. So the value of <clears throat> b comes out as um, 7.961 up to three decimal places. So this is the value of b and this is the value of a. Okay, all right. Um, question number B, uh, part B, question one. Uh, I use the given data to find the average rate of change, AROC, of the number of units of the video game sold in thousands per day from 0 to 91. Express your answer as a decimal approximation and show the computation. We can do that. Uh, we know the formula for AROC. That's going to be Y2 minus Y1, which is essentially g of 91 minus g of 0 over x2 minus x1 so 91 minus 0 over here uh, we already have the values right a g of 91 is 76 don't put 76 thousands because they need the unit in thousands per day so don't put 76 thousand it's just 76 and uh, g0 was 40 so i'm going to put 40 here and this is 91 minus 0 which is just 91 so that's going to be 36 over 91, <coughs> uh, which is going to come out as 0 0.396 up to uh, three decimal places. So that's going to be uh, AROC. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, question number two says that use the AROC to find the number of video games sold in thousands when t is 50. So uh, this is <clears throat> just about using this as a slope, uh, writing the equation of a straight line, and then finding the value at t equal to 50, something which, you know, it's called, uh, 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 you know, the slope intercept form kind of SAT once again. So I'm going to say that I know that there is a point on the line, which is 0, 40, 
it's given in the question right at t equal to zero video games for 40 and the slope <clears throat> given to us or not given to us we just found is 0 0.396 because the average rate of change is nothing but the average slope which we are considering to make a straight line so the equation is y minus y1 y1 is 40 is equal to m which is 0 0.396 times x minus x1 or uh, x minus 0 so in 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 this world y is g g minus 40 is 0 0.396 and x is just t so the value of g comes out as uh, g is equal to 4 plus 0 0.396 t and all we need to do is plug in t as 50 um, so the value of g comes out as <clears throat> 0.396 times 50 uh, uh, actually i'm gonna uh, although my answer is in three decimals but i'm gonna use uh, four decimals here because this is an intermediate calculation so AROC actually was coming as uh, 0 0.39, sorry, 0. Uh, uh, give me one second, 36.91. Yeah, 0.3956. That's what I'm going to actually use over here. So let me quickly replace this as 0 0.3956, 0 0.3956. 0 0.3956, 0 0.3956, um, 0 0.3956, and this is multiplied with 50, 3956, 50, and then we add 40 to it. So the approximation which we have is uh, 559.78. Uh, what are they asking? Uh, use the average to estimate the number of units in thousands so yes this is the answer so our answer is going to be 59.78 thousand either you can write a thousand over here or you can obviously multiply this with 1000 uh, or and say that the value of g is 59,780 both are um in thousand actually the answer will be uh, will be the boxed one the white one because they are specifically asking you to give the answer in thousands so i don't think so you should write the blue one over here this is just for your understanding but yeah the answer is 59.78 thousand okay all right uh, let's try the next one uh, let AT represents the estimate of the number of units of the video game sold in thousands using the AROC found in one which is obviously um, this equation, this equation over here. For A50 found in 2, it can be shown that A50 is less than G50. Okay, and G, G is over here, right? This is the G function. Uh, so explain why in general A is less than G for all T, um, uh, where T is between 0 and 91. Okay. So uh, there are a couple of ways to answer. There are at least two ways to answer this question. Uh, both are related. Uh, for both, you have to use uh, pure TID4. Uh, so what I did is I graphed both A and G. Uh, uh, the green one is the G function. This is G of T. And the blue one is the uh, A of T, which is the straight line. And as you can see that between zero at t equal to zero and t equal to 91 around, uh, g is always greater than t, All right? g is always uh, greater than t. Uh, so that is, uh, that, that is, that is intuitive that obviously uh, uh, this is what they are asking and why if you want to justify in general, because the rate of change, the rate of change of g of t is uh, 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 is more than a of t because it is increasing at a higher rate it is uh, g of t is increasing at a higher rate g of t is increasing at a higher rate when compared to a of t so that's the reason why g of t in general is greater than a of t as seen from the curve as well another way is uh, rather than graphing g of t and a of t separately you can graph g minus a g of t minus a of t which is exactly what i did in this particular curve so if you uh, plug in the value of uh, g which is 40 
plus 7.961 ln x plus 1 uh, minus the straight line which is 40 plus 0.395 uh, 396 uh, x uh, this curve is going to look like this and this you can clearly see that the difference is always positive so if the difference is always positive this definitely means that this thing is always positive and g is greater than a for the same reason and here you can uh, justify by saying that the rate of change the rate of change of g of t minus a of t curve is positive is positive overall uh, till this point till this uh, uh, this is point which is closer to 20 and then it is decreasing but the difference is always positive and that's what matters right that's what they are asking that the difference is always positive because the rate of change rate at which the g is increasing is more than the rate at which a is increasing and hence the difference is always positive so this is our justification for p uh, 3 all right um the last one uh, is asking us that uh, the makers of the video game uh, reported that daily sales of the video game decreased each day after t equal to 91. Explain why the error in the G model increases after t equal to 91. I think uh, the same curve is going to answer this. So I'm just going to copy and paste it over here. And as we can clearly see that as the value of uh, uh, the time increases from 91 we can clearly see that the rate of change now of a of t becomes uh, it, it's constant but it's relatively greater now than g of t because the rate of change of g now decreases right uh, at a faster rate because that's a concave down function so the difference between at and gt which is also called residual or the error that keeps on increasing that keeps on increasing as the value of time is greater than 91 and since the residual or the error increases uh, residual increases and so is the error and hence the uh, the model g the approximation of model g which is a is uh, not a great model after uh, 91 because it just keeps you know the it just keeps getting more wider and wider all right so this is what i think if you uh, uh if you have any other opinion please feel free to let me know in the comment section and i will see you soon with another video bye, -bye.